Today we debate tacos. What kind? It's the Dell versus the Bell. This, This is, is a, a hot dog, dog is a sandwich. sandwich. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what? Welcome to our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, the show where we break down the world's biggest food debates. I'm your host, Josh Ayer. And I'm your host, Nicole She's the Belle, and I'm the Dale, and today we're sc 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 scorching your world with the hottest political takes from the Libertarian Party. Nicole, hit him with it. No government in my tacos, please. Don't tread on my quesadilla. <laughs> That's right. Shred us. More like give people autonomy. Uh, something like that. Autonomy? Do you remember Gary Johnson, libertarian political candidate? No. He His Who's like that? whole thing, I think this was 2016, his whole thing was just like, guys, we should really make pot legal. And then uh, somebody during like a debate or a town hall thing mm -hmm. was like, but what about the rise in cardiac arrest from marijuana or something? And then he pretends to have a heart attack on stage and falls to the ground and then get, gets up. Funny. You know, I don't, I don't generally agree with libertarian politics, but I thought Gary Johnson's fake heart attack was funny. What about Howard Dean's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, was... if you really look at, I mean, he ran an incredible grassroots campaign. Anyways, today we are talking about Taco Bell Versus Dell Taco. Can, no. we put my, can we put our laptops away? For put this our one? laptops away. Put our laptops Josh, away. Josh, I think we should be honest with with um with our lovely viewers. We did shoot another podcast earlier today mm -hmm. where we ate Jollibee, and now we're gonna eat Dell Taco and Taco Bell. And I'm so full, I just burped up Pancit Parabok. Mm -hmm. But because I care about this podcast and about giving the people what they want, nay, what they deserve, I'm gonna suffer and eat <laughs> like a mountain of fast food. You know, a lot of people say the hardest job is being a mother. We know that's not true. The hardest job is being a podcast host where you have to eat silly little things. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult. No, I feel like I am um, uncomfortably full right Me now. Me too. I did just we'll go nibble. walk for an hour. But we have to do we'll this We'll nibble a for... nosh. We'll nibble a nosh. <laughs> I'm nibble. And I'm... <laughs> And we're bringing you the best far-right Jewish news from... <laughs> What are they talking about on that side, huh? <laughs> Somehow only... The only political commentators on AM radio are just so far to the right. Are there like... I don't listen to the radio Me anymore. neither. I, the, oh, the only time I do is when I'm in an Uber and uh, it's like, you know, 5.30 a.m. You're Ubering to the airport and there's just Ubers? some oh, okay. upsetting things I don't, I don't, on AM radio. I ask them to put on music or just turn it off. Um, okay, Del Taco is talking about... Um, I need my laptop for this. <laughs> some people might not know what Del Taco is. Del Taco is, as far as like this era of fast food Mexican, it's the second biggest chain in America. Behind there's like, Taco Bell? Behind Taco Bell, Taco Bell, and it's far behind Taco Bell. But for us, it's very special and very regional. If y'all haven't heard of Del Taco, it is... I grew up on it. They used to have... Really? You know, three for a dollar Taco Tuesdays. They'd have 59 cents soft chicken Taco Tuesdays. They capitalized on Taco Tuesdays? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Didn't Taco Bell also have like a small campaign doing Taco I'm, Tuesdays? I'm sure they did. Listen, everyone. Everyone loves an alliteration. Um, but there's about 600 Del Taco locations. There's like 400 Taco Johns, 300 Taco Times. Right. Uh, but Taco Bell really is the king of this world. Del Taco is making a huge expansion push. The irony is they were founded within 100 miles of each other and within like two years of each other. Interesting. Back in the day, Quite Taco the Bell, craze. right, was in, God, was Taco Bell Downey? I think Taco Bell was in Downey in 1962, and then Del Taco was out in a city called, like, Yermo outside of Barstow. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I think I see the signs <laughs> for Yermo when I go to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that was out in the desert, and Del Taco has been slowly expanding since. Um, they have since opened. They're starting to get to the East Coast. They've opened, like, Pittsburgh. Um, they got nice. a location in Guam now. So Del Taco could be coming to your neighborhood soon. And so you might be interested in this. Nice. Um, should I tell you what I ordered from each place? Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to start with the Del Taco menu. We got their new Trejo's Tacos Roasted Pork <gasps> Al Pastor Epic Burrito because I know you're all about trying the new fangle thing at any Absolutely place. am. And then we also got their beer battered crispy fish taco made with stone, trademark, when, uh, Buena, Buena Vesa salt and lime lager. Dude, that is one of my favorite beers of all time. Is the it? Buena Vesa salt and lime. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. It's like a chelada, but in a can. Not yeah, like a michelada. Not a michelada. But just a chelada. A chelada. So there's micheladas, cubanas, and geladas in different regions use them interchangeably, but I would call like a michelada something with either like a tomato, tomato or a hot sauce yeah. or spice base. Mm -hmm. And then chelada is just salt and lime. Which I love. Which I love too. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I throw a little Maggie in there. Mm. Um, and then we got the the Del Taco Crunchy. Yep. We got a chicken taco del carbone. We got something called a bun taco. Have you heard of the bun taco at, at Del Taco? No. 
Okay, literally, I saw it and I'm like, click, like instant click. It's taco meat in a, it's literally sloppy joe. It's taco meat inside of a burger bun. Oh, well, that's, okay, so Taco Bell used to have that. They called it the Bell Beefer. Bell Beefer, yes, but they have this. It's called the bun taco. Interesting, because Del Taco, one of the big differentiating factors is they have cheeseburgers and fries. And they have pork and shellfish and fish, which I think is so interesting. My theory is that Del Taco has been trying to scrape the ends of the bell curve. Mm Because, like, they got to be Taco Bell somehow. Taco Bell is such a stranglehold. Marketing, decades of consumer confidence. Del Taco has gone the cheapest. They've made their their original Del Tacos cheaper than Taco Bell. Yeah. Uh, And then they are going for the more premium items. So I've had, like, a steak and shrimp burrito from Del Taco that probably cost, like, eight bucks. And it was just delicious. So now they're partnering with... Danny Trejo, who, Godspeed, I think he filed for bankruptcy. Anywho, uh, Danny Trejo, who founded Trejo's Tacos in Los Angeles. Right. They're making Al Pastor. Yeah. Crazy well, I'll stuff, tell you all about dude. the details. Crazy but we, stuff. We also have the Crunch Tata Tostada, <laughs> as well as the Chicken Cheddar Quesadilla. So this is our Del Taco menu. That's incredible. Do you want to dig, dig into that, or do you want to know what we got from Taco Bell? Let's, let's dig into Taco Bell. Let's see where okay. we can find some differences here. Okay, with the Taco Bell, so I got their Crunchy Taco, of Classic. course. Um, I got their Nachos Cheese Dor- Doritos Locos Tacos, because why not? A specialty item. I got their Burrito Supreme. Love it. Mexican Pizza. My mouth is watering. <laughs> the Chicken Quesadilla, Cheesy Gordita Crunch, and because, again, I know you love high-ticket, cool, like, awesome items, I got you a Crunchwrap Supreme, but the big cheese it inside. Oh, my Have God. I haven't had that yet. Me no. Either. I'm so excited. But that shows, like, where they're kind of going, right? Like, Taco Bell... The big time cheese it big old new thing, yeah. and then Del Taco is like, hey, we got like a like a like a real Mexican actor that people know. I'll say this. A restaurant. I'll say this. Taco Bell leading into the cheese quite hard. Yes, they're all about the cheese. They're all about the queso. Cheesy street chalupa. They have the queso lupa, yeah, which is Spanish so cheese. for cheese chalupa. <laughs> There's so much cheese in Taco Bell's menu, but I think Del Taco really focuses on proteins and like having cool, different, awesome yeah. proteins. I've never actually had Del Taco before. As some, what? Actually, no, the I've, fudge? That's not, that's not true. I've had Del Taco once. I've had it once before, and I think I just had a Tacos Al Carbone once. Why are you looking at me like that? Because that's, that's incredible. I, I do oh. remember the Tacos Del Carbone, or sorry, Taco Del Carbone. Yeah, yeah, we have one of them. We <laughs> tacos them. Del Carbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, era when they came out with those, because they were like, hey, we can make real tacos too. And I mm-hmm. remember them being good. Where should we start? I don't know, but also the Burrito Supreme has steak in it. I decided to go with steak. Like, yeah, we got to we gotta do steak. We got to differentiate then, our pro- portfolios. Um, this was, okay, so the Del Scorcho. Uh huh. This guess... is the OG like hottest restaurant sauce. This is hotter than the fire sauce, but is then Taco Bell came out with Diablo. Oh, well, they look the same. I've never tested them together i shall be exclusively using del scorcho me thinks okay i i will too <laughs> me I, thinks my lady i also tips the fedora i also think i got i tried to get mild and hot but they didn't put it in my order but we do Solid. have the avocado salsa i think the hot at taco bell a lot of people say it's their favorite to me there's a weird spicing to i like it. the fire um fire sauce is my favorite nice and tomato we where, where are we let's starting? start with t-bell oh well okay crunchy taco let's versus crunchy with, taco mm, let's okay sure okay so uh, it used to actually be called Casa del Taco, which makes a really? lot more sense. And then they they dropped that name, I think, in the early 70s. Also, there was a schism and uh, Naugles. You've heard of Naugles tacos? Never in my life of being alive. They were like a small chain. I think they shut down, but they're they're on their way back. But they split off of Del Taco back in the day. Do we, um, eat, the, do we eat the same thing together? or? No, I think we should take I'll take a bite of this and give it to you. Or you take a bite of that and give it to me. Okay. You can have first bite of everything because I'm grosser. That's not true. You're not gross. Uh, to me, in my mind... I would think that Taco Bell's crunchy taco is considerably better because I think the meat is spiced better. But I haven't ever tasted them side by side like this. It tastes pretty good. I will say it looks like mm. it looks like the cheese has melted on the Del Taco one significantly more. The Del Taco taco, it's a lot bigger. It is a lot bigger and it's a lot softer. Like the corn. Like the yeah. corn is a softer corn. Wow, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Taco Bell wins this one by a landslide. By a mile. There's too much cumin in the Del Taco one. Del Taco meat, it's not seasoned as well. Mm-hmm. The tur- I mean, this this is bordering on a Jack in the Box taco, right? Yes. Like, the meat feels like it has more filler. And I know Taco Bell has gotten in trouble. With their fillers? Only 88% beef, whatever. Suck. Del Taco Del Taco's probably running like 79 <laughs> to 81%. <laughs> um, this is no contest. Yeah. Crazy. But, but, but I know this is where they make their money. I was arguing with somebody once, which was probably you, <laughs> um, surprise, about, surprise. I would have thought that Taco Bell's highest selling item is like the Crunchwrap or something. What is like, it? By far, it's a crunchy taco. 
Uh-huh. Crunchy Taco, Soft Taco, Bean Burrito are the top three sellers. Wow. And then everything else is just a marketing ploy. Nice. To get people to buy more Crunchy Tacos, right? People are buying sacks of 20 Crunchy Tacos for football games. Mm-hmm. Not doing that the other stuff. So Taco Bell, to me, that Crunchy Taco, it's it's the standard bear. It's totally. like a 9.5 out of 10. Can I have an El, El Scorcho? El Scorcho? <laughs> Del Scorcho. I need, I'm using it as a palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's hit the Del Scorcho, see where it ranks compared to fire. I haven't had this in a long time. I'm doing it by Diablo. Is that not fair? Should it not be Diablo? Should it be Dude, Fire? Del Scorcho's good, Del man. Del Scorcho's so good. Del Scorcho's good. Oh, Diablo's a new one. Okay, fine. I'll I mean, new ish. It's probably what, like six, seven years old, but. Mm. Diablo has a very unique point of view. It has a nice sweetness. More that... acid, more spice than the Del Scorcho. Yeah, Diablo has less sugar. I love that these just all start with water and tomato paste. Mm-hmm. Um, they're both good, though. They're both delicious. Where do we go here? Um, Let's try burrito. You can try. So that's the Al Pastor one that you have. From Danny Trejo. Uh, this is fascinating. Right? This is That's this is big. massive. Look at that. Do you know what the price difference was on this? You versus the guy he tells you not <laughs> she tells you not to worry about. Oh god. <laughs> this is the size of a Chipotle burrito, and honestly, when you open it, uh-huh, it looks like the quality of a legit sit-down Mexican restaurant. That looks really good. You know? Uh-huh. Dude. Is it really good? Dude, what? It's excellent. Really? I, I can't cross pollinate sauces. Let me uh let me look at the price difference between the two. So it looks like the um, burrito supreme is five thirty nine, and then the trail taco is seven ninety nine. But to be fair, it's more than thirty percent bigger. Yeah. Also, I feel like uh, from what I can see, it's not a lot of squirties going on. You know what I mean? Like they're not no. squirting stuff in there. They're they're thwapping stuff on there. Dude, this is hefty and thick. Oh and my delicious. god! Look at that. That looks like a chipotle burrito. I'm telling you, like. Taco mm. Bell is blessed and cursed in a certain way. Mm-hmm. That Taco Bell can never taste like anything but Taco Bell. Well, yeah. At the may- end of the day, Taco Bell tastes like Taco Bell. No Maybe I renege that, that, though. Because Wait their me. new cantina menu mm-hmm. is something that's really interesting. For the first time, they're putting, like, purple cabbage in there. You know, like the av- avocado salsa they have. Would you, can you grab me one of those? Because mm-hmm. the new avocado salsa, like, this is really good. Shelf stable. Yeah. Salsa de aguacate. Uh-huh. A little like, it's kind of like salsa verde with a little bit of avocado blended in, but it's really, really delightful. Mm-hmm. They used to have a proper salsa verde and a chipotle salsa. Do you remember the chipotle salsa? No, but I remember the verde. I remember we dre- I dressed up as a verde one day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Give me this. Yeah, Taco Bell burritos are always like a soup dumpling. I don't love Taco Bell. I don't go to Taco Bell for the burritos. I like to get a Taco Bell burrito. And um, Maggie, I'm so sorry. Do not edit this out. Nicole, <laughs> say something of value so she can't edit it. Because what you do is you push it to the top. Dollars, go, cents, quarters, <laughs> coins, paper money. You can't slurp. Checks. You can't <laughs> slurp a Del Taco burrito. But right? maybe that's a. But that's a point to it. No. That's a hallmark of Taco Bell. But you don't need everything to supefies itself. But I don't like the idea of slurping, slurping up my burritos. You're gonna get supefied. Hurrah! <laughs> <clears throat> that was my ad. David Draymond of Disturbed Impression was song stupefied. If you have to explain it. I know. Um, <laughs> burritos, where, where are you going? Just even even though it's 30% more expensive. Okay. Well, also I'm biased because I don't like rice in my burritos, but I think the protein tastes so much better yeah. in the Del Taco one. So I'm going to go Del Taco. Even though Taco Bell, I don't love, I don't, I don't know. Taco Bell's good, but... The Del Taco tastes better. It tastes like a real cantina situation. Dude, this is a real... Yeah. I have not seen food this... Legit? <laughs> legit coming out of a fast food restaurant in a long time, I right? know, right? Like, this feels incredible. Yeah, I wish you could see this pork. If you're on YouTube, you can a little bit, but it doesn't do it justice. Like, this looks like it came from a taqueria, because it did. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. It's very well seasoned. Yeah, they did a good job. You know, it's almost like a little too heavily seasoned <laughs> in a way, but damn. I think it's pleasant. No, it's it's like pleasant. And the size that you get for $8, that's pretty money. And if you're trying to paint the corners of that bell curve, dude, Del Taco, you're doing it, man. Okay, let's see. We got Mexican. Excellent. Winner Del Taco. We got Mexican pizza versus, what is this? Crunch Tata? Is that what Oh, no. How can Del Taco, this again proves my theory, but how can you go from this like beautiful burrito al pastor mm-hmm. to the Crunch Tata Tosada? I know this is their value. This is their value menu item, right? Yeah. So it's a tough fight between that. Because Taco Bell, I think they got rid of their tostada. They have a cheese of tostada right now. Cheese of tostada, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Incredible. Um, but this does look a little bit sad. Uh-huh. It's, you know, just beans, cheese, lettuce on a tortilla. It's not good for delivery. This is uh, not a delivery product. 
No, no, no. no. It, but also, like, the tortillas at Del Taco seem to be markedly worse, I'd say. Yeah, they do fall apart much quicker. Right? They're, they're a lot softer. They're not as not as sturdy. No, they're not as sturdy. When you're, you know, sturdy. slopping a bunch of liquid beans on it. Mm. It does taste really good, though. It tastes great. Mm-hmm. I wonder bean for bean who wins. That tastes really good. I actually really, I prefer the freshness of this to the insane duskiness from the red sauce from the Mexican pizza. The the red sauce? I've never been the biggest Mexican pizza guy. I think Me people either. think I would have. You're more of a Crunchwrap guy. I'm more of a Crunchwrap guy. You need the vegetables. <laughs> I think, yeah, except, except for there's white watery tomatoes in there. <laughs> um, This, like, bean lettuce cheese, this is, like, something that I grew up eating at my friend's house growing same. up. Same, 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 same. When we'd be playing, like, Dave Mira freestyle at his place when I was, like, nine years old, his dad yeah. would make... Almost this exact same tosada for us as a snack. Mm -hmm. Like with the iceberg lettuce. This is a dude, I don't know if you remember me telling the story where I was like, hey, why do you use lettuce instead of cabbage? And he goes, because we're not poor. And he kind of like exploded at me a little bit. Aww. Um, well, he served some prison time. So like, you know, I don't think he had his uh, emotions fully in check. Oh. Um, but also, uh, that was when I learned that like, oh, cabbage, according to him, is for poor, poor people, people. And lettuce is for rich people. Who knew? Lettuce does spoil faster. Makes sense. Uh, that's very good. I haven't had a <laughs> Mexican pizza in a minute. Give this a whack. I'm going to tell you something. It's not very good. I'm sorry. Mexican pizza slander. Starting with me. Didn't they try to remove this and people like had like an aneurysm or something? Was it like Ice Spice or someone? Someone brought it back. <laughs> Ice Spice. Dude, who was it? Maggie, you look. Who, I, no, Cardi. Was it Cardi? Was it Cardi B? Ice Spice brought back the Mexican pizza. Doja Cat. Dude, oh, no. I, well, I, do, I, have people forgiven Doja Cat? Hair grow long like Chia. Money go long like Nia. Big Nia Long fan. I hope you know I'm using all these salsas as a palate cleanser because I need it. <laughs> as you should. Um, if we pick the crunch tata toast. <laughs> Does it make me a worse person? I think it's it's a bit of uh, an injustice, but I think we have to. If I'm being honest, it's I significantly honest... enjoyed that more than the Mexican pizza. Me too. Me too. Josh, we're here to be honest. The people crave honesty now. You know, they've been so, they're being they're being. Manufactured false information, fake news. It's up to us to be honest. We're the real truth tellers here. Yeah, that's right. Cause I'm the Dell. Cause, 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 scorching your brains with the fieriest green party takes. Josh, take out the the Jill case. Stein. What a what? <laughs> take out the the quesadilla. What's she up to, man? What's Jill Stein doing these days? <laughs> Google it. Marianne Williamson, I'm telling you. Listen, I don't. Don't Google it. <laughs> Um, taco, again, in my mind, Taco Bell's quesadillas are, like, the greatest thing in the world, and they made the innovation of putting mayonnaise in them, <laughs> <laughs> which is incredible. Wait, look at me. I'm rich. So this is, <laughs> I feel like Nikocado Avocado. <laughs> oh, God. Nikocado Avocado, who duped us all into thinking he was killing himself, and then it turns out he just was, and then he wasn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand, man. I don't know what's going on with YouTube anymore. Um, it freaks me out. He tastes exactly the same to me. Um, Delta uh, Taco Bell did revamp their grilled chicken a minute ago. I think I think they're doing better work. They used to. I used to work in a catering company that would use it shared a commissary kitchen with Taco Bell, so they would nice. use their. I would take home like ten pound sacks of Taco Bell's pre cooked grilled chicken and eat them for my own meal prep no at home. No way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's got a taste to it. This is a, a previous formula. <laughs> It had such a unique taste to it that I got so sick of after a while. Yeah, I'm sure. Taco Bell, the mayonnaise with the hot sauce in it, that's really all it is. Their creamy jalapeno sauce. I think it's excellent. After a while, it just melts all together and all tastes the same. But I think it turns it into like a self-saucing cheese, you know? Interesting. You know what I mean? What is Del Taco? Do we have any sauce in here? I don't think so. I will say Del Taco's chicken has always been one of my favorites because it is whole chicken thigh part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just marinated and enzymed to hell. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like there's there's a there's a chemical tenderizer in it. But it's good. It's always been great. I can't taste the difference, Josh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you taste the difference? Del Taco's grilled chicken is miles, miles better. Try the chicken out of it. Del who's whose chicken is I'm sorry, I feel like I'm good drunk. One. This one's better? Try the Del Taco grilled chicken versus mm. the Taco Bell. Okay, but I'm not chicken. but I'm not picking out, but you know, I'm not eating it like this. I'm not picking it out like this. I know, but I think if you're if you're split even on which one is better. Oh, yeah. Shade towards the one with the best grilled chicken. Del, Del Taco, their protein game is miles ahead of... Well, Taco Bell clears on beef. Okay, fair. You know, and I think that's what most people are going, fair. but chicken quesadilla for chicken quesadilla, this to me is a bit of an upset. I am shocked. 
yeah. at how good the Del Taco quesadilla is. They don't use the three cheese blend. They're just using cheddar, which like is probably the best of the three cheeses yeah. in there. So might right. as well use it all. Right. But the grilled chicken's incredible. Is Del Taco winning, Maggie? It's three to one, Del Taco. Holy cannoli. Well, well, well. What do you want to eat now? I'm full. Yeah, can we go home? <laughs> Bestie, I'm full. I'm back for part two. We have a cr- oh, we have to try the crunch wrap with the cheese it inside. I don't know what to compare it to. The the this podcast has <laughs> been brought to you by Half Flat Fresca. I've seen Josh's Half Flat for Fresca mug. Let me take a selfie. Ugh. I'm so sorry. Uh, which okay? Which one are we eating that against? Um, this the. the t- <laughs> <laughs> Should I cut this in half? Now we're getting into some specialty items here. Oh, man. Yeah, it's tough. Oh, oh bitten man. And bitten. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. no. There you go. The Dell Beefer over here <laughs> is... Oh, no. It looks like a sloppy joe from hell. Yeah, this looks like a, a school sloppy joe and not oh. one of them nice charter schools either. You know, this looks like public school sloppy ew, joe. Ew. This one's tough. Um, this is tough. Their beef, as we've discussed, it's it's already not the best. Ew, 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 ew. It's real bad. <laughs> that bun is sacrilegious. I thought I didn't care about buns. I do. I care about a good bun. You don't care about a bun until you eat a really bad bun. You know what I mean? The best buns should go unnoticed. What? The best buns should go unnoticed almost. <laughs> yeah. You know? You're so right. That is really bad. You notice this bun. I notice it, and it's not in a good way. I, It's it's horrible. They've also is it burnt whole, it? Is it whole wheat? Is that a whole wheat no, bun? No, because look how lily white that is. But the outside <laughs> is so dark brown. They've somehow, I can't tell at which stage of the cook it was burnt. Oh, my God. It's really bad. But it has been burnt. Ugh. I don't know why they would be toasting it in the store. Ugh. Especially the top. Ugh. It's acrid. It's it's chewy. It's thick. I've got to have some fire sauce as a palate cleanser. <laughs> Huge bummer. Ruined my day. <laughs> maybe my Maybe even my week. Yeah, pretty bad. Gone. Um, cheese Let's it? try this cheese it. Okay, we've made the cardinal sin. Listen, this is a production. Letting a crunch wrap sit, and now it's just a wrap. But this is a thick piece of... <laughs> Toasty cheese. <laughs> oh, man. I can't make heads or tails of it. It's interesting because the flavor of a cheese it is really like oxidized cheese, right? You yes. can make a fire sauce? Oh, sure. Here, you can just have the one I had in my mouth all over But I, I like to put... No, no, I need like a whole okay, packet of fire sauce per bite. Okay, Princess Peach. How much fire <laughs> sauce do you put on your Taco Bell? I literally like, hold one like this, and I eat, and I suck, and I eat, and I suck. Oh, you never put it, you never put it on the Taco no, Bell. You only can you give me, suck. Can you give me the Del Taco one, even though I know I'm not supposed to? Please? Yes. I haven't even had the... Which one's this? I'm having a lot of fun the here. mild? Okay, okay. <laughs> this is really... This is... I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> Josh, I'm true. Josh, I feel like I'm. A You've concubine. made a Faustian bargain. I feel like I'm a concubine being fed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because the person who owns the harem likes fat. Girls. Yeah, like them guinea pigs in Ecuador. I'm fat. They go queek 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 queek. So I like them. And you know who's the owner of the harem? The harem, the algorithm. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, the concubine harem algorithm, it really does sort of fit if you take the metaphor to its logical end. Um, <laughs> I like that. Ari, the, the crunch wrap with the big cheese it. It tastes worse than a normal crunch wrap. But it tastes better than that abomination of a sloppy joe. <laughs> this heavily toasted, oxidized, big cheese flavor. I don't like it. No, I think it steps on the nacho cheese. I don't think it's as good. It's yeah. significantly better than the Del Beef. Yeah, we're going to give this one to Taco Bell. And Gotta give it to Taco Bell. Do me a favor. Let's yeah, just do one more thing. Let's eat the fish taco and then be done with it, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, yeah, yeah. I Where's the fish taco? We're, one of these. we're it's making one a mess. Of these. It's one of these. What it's else we got? Oh, it's that's the- We got a CGC. <laughs> well, fish taco's got the driest limes you've ever seen. <laughs> I, I've i eaten plenty of fish tacos from Del Taco. They're pretty good. Are they good. good? They're pretty good. Um, now, we can either put this up against the Cheesy Gordita Crunch or the Doritos Locos Taco. I think it should be against the Doritos Locos Taco because it's branded. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Huh? Are, were you talking to me? <laughs> Did you hear I'm so sorry. I, I thought said. you were talking to Maggie. I feel like thing? I'm high, but I'm not. Oh, Georgia! <laughs> <laughs> Is this what kids used to do? They used to, like, smoke a bunch of weed and then, like, go to Del Taco? Yes. I'll tell you what <laughs> what we did yeah. is you you would go to Del Taco with basically like as much money as you had in your pocket in high school. 
and you would kind of just hand it to the cashier and go like, what can I get with this? <laughs> like that was kind of the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, then yeah, you'd like sure. go down to San Clemente, T Street. Can you Street, put some lime on that, please? You know, you'd start, you know, you'd be like uh, skimboarding all day. Oh, he's talking about skimboarding do a little, again. Do a, little, do a little bonfire at night. Someone would start like throwing cans of spray paint in the fire. I like, wonder what that does, you know. <laughs> that was a gusher, baby. That was like eating a, a fish gusher. How is it good? It's really good. It's really good? It's not like getting a filet fish at McDonald's. That's mm. a pretty good piece of fish. Mm. Pretty well mm-hmm. fried. Mm-hmm. Cabbage, pico. You taste cilantro, which is a unique thing that you don't often taste from Taco Bell. That's really delicious. What That's do you want? It's a good fish taco. Cheesy gordita crunch or, del- or Dorito Loco taco? CGC. Really? CGC. This is my favorite menu item. And I think that's where Taco Bell really shines. In a place where Del Taco hasn't really tried to compete. In the wacky tabacky. Oh, look how gr- look how white the the lettuce is. It's quite white. I like the white parts of the iceberg. That's like the creamiest, nuttiest part. You know what I mean? Why are you laughing at creamy and nutty? <laughs> Does that win? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What is the silliest fun? We just speed ran the entire menu. Dude, I was supposed to like cook a nice Maggie's dinner tonight. Ask, Maggie's asking me what this was. <laughs> what? Where? Anything you say to her, you can say to me. I was asking what CGC stands for. Oh, well, it, it's really obvious. <laughs> Shut up. <If> you... <laughs> I kind of like Del Taco more. Uh, what did we learn about this? I learned that me and you can't eat like this anymore. I'm too old for this, man. I'm going to go home and eat a protein shake for dinner. Honestly, I will say Del Taco actually had an incredible showing. And I'm quite impressed with, no, you don't need to eat that just because it's there. What's, there's like an Einstein quote that's like, if you judge a dolphin on its ability to fly. Climb a tree. Yeah, you know what I mean? But Uh it's like you should be judging a dolphin on its ability to sexually harass (laughs) researchers in the 1960s who were doing a bunch of acid. I don't think he said that. Because dolphins are great at that. Um, I don't think he said that. that. But no, you should, you know, judge them on their core competencies. I think Taco uh-huh. Bell's beef slop is one of the best items to ever come out of mm-hmm. any fast food. And you put that in a crunch wrap supreme, it's great. You put that in a hard taco, it's great. Cheesy gordita crunch, that's great. I think everywhere mm-hmm. else, Taco Bell is starting to fall short. I think they're coming up on it on the cantina menu and they're finding their stride. Very strong cantina menu, which we didn't taste today. But if you have it at your local Taco Bell, you should eat it. <laughs> but huh, like beef slop and liquid cheese is where Taco Bell really shines and their inventiveness. Right. Del Taco, really good job with premium proteins. I don't know, man. This fish taco tasted like a straight out of like a regular. It tastes, it tastes like a Wahoo's. It was really good. The corn, the the quality of the corn tortilla that they use also. I'm yeah. quite pleasantly surprised. I thought it was really, really delicious. I thought that their Al Pastor was great. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to give it to Del Taco, but maybe I am. What are we doing? What are we doing, Josh? I want to agree with you. They're, on they're honestly so different. Different. Like you yeah. said, this this grilled chicken taco, it looks like it's from an actual taqueria, right? Yeah. You know? Um, I think they can live in tandem. I don't think we need to crown a winner here. Really? I think we're fine. What I if they know. come out with pitchforks saying, like, pick a winner, pick a winner? Okay, one, two, three, Taco Bell. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they have 8,000 locations. Del Taco is 600. They're in something, right? Man, what are you going to do? Okay, cool. now record an alt oh. <laughs> in case anyone wants to okay, sponsor okay. Del Taco, Obviously. duh. The I food mean, is so much better. Yeah, the little man won. Nicole, you think it's good to have dreams, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I have a dream. What is it? I dream of learning Spanish. Really? Because here's the thing. I love Mexican food. Anytime mm-hmm. we cook in the mythical kitchen, all I want to make is Mexican food. All I want to eat is Mexican food. I have spent almost my entire life in Southern California, right. and I've learned a fair bit of Spanish. You know, I can get by in restaurants, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's a culture that I appreciate so much. I really want to travel all throughout Mexico, and the fact that I don't speak it, I think, is weird. And I think I could only appreciate the culture and food a lot more if I was actually fluent, and by golly, I'm going to do it. That's great, Josh. I really think you... You have the ability to do whatever you set your mind to. And if that's learning Spanish, I think you can do it. And I failed it in college, but that's because <laughs> classrooms aren't always the best uh, environment for me, which is why I'm really excited to do it through Rosetta Stone. I know. Uh, Rosetta Stone is the most trusted language learning program, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. 
Get a lifetime membership with access to all 25 of Rosetta Stone's offered languages for 50% off. That's a heck of a deal, Nicole. You can learn anytime and anywhere. Learn on the go with the mobile app or at your desktop on your schedule. Yeah, it didn't exactly work in a college classroom. I'm not good at sitting still, per se. <laughs> uh, it's also got a speech recognition feature that gives you feedback on your accent. With Rosetta Stone, you learn your new language first with words, then move up to phrases, and then sentences in a way that's designed for long-term retention. So you'll learn fast and remember it forever. They've got Farsi, Swedish, Tagalog, Turkish, you name it. So don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. A Hot Dog is a Sandwich listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash hot dog. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash hot dog today. Well, now that we can physically feel the inflammation rising through our entire bodies, my face is puffier than it was before we is did mine, all that. Is mine puffier than before? Yeah, but it's cool because we're right next to each other, so people are just going to think they messed up something uh, in the lenses. Why okay, are we using good. those fisheye lenses that look all puffy? Do I have anything in my teeth? But no, it's the beef slop. Uh, no, do I? <laughs> I can gotta... feel it. When I smiled, I felt Oh my... my God, it's a big black dot. Just a huge... Oh, it's like large... What is it? In the middle? No, it's on the edge right here. Yeah, what are you going to do? It's going to stay there. Uh, I don't think there were any black beans. It's black bean skin. That'll get you. I think I have a flosser. Hold on, Nicole. Tell me what the segment is. Robot Maggie O. And now it's time for a new segment where Josh and I put our food trivia knowledge to the test. It's time for our very own trivia segment called... Yummy in my tummy got some trivia for you. Robot Maggie has three questions prepared. Josh, you and I will wait until the question is completed, and then we will answer. If wrong, the other person will get one chance to guess and earn the point. Let's hear the first question, buddy. What are you looking for? Uh, floss pick. I normally have one in my wallet. Do you want to? Do you want to? Yeah. Do you mind? Horrible. Ew. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, first question. First question! Which spice is derived from the crocus flower and is one of the most expensive spices in the world? <laughs> we both know it. One, two, three. Saffron. saffron. The correct answer is saffron. Okay, next one, Robot Maggie. Which fruit is known as the king of fruits? I know it. I know it. One, one two, two, three. Durian. durian. The correct answer is durian. Maggie, you're gonna have to give us some toughies, boo. No, but I kind of like this. You know, Robot through... Maggie. No, I want to with... win. Okay, let's see if the last one divides us. Where does German chocolate cake actually come from? <laughs> um, 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 I'll ring in. I know. United States of America. It's American. I just I don't know exactly where. Yeah, where exa- or what state or city? I have a guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you take this one. I'm going to guess Minnesota. I'm going to guess Philadelphia. The correct answer is Dallas, Texas. No way. <laughs> Interesting. We both got America. I knew it was American. Philly was a great guess because like Germantown That's what I thought. is a thing. But mm-hmm. I thought for some reason Minnesota, a big cake baking church pot. It sounds like a church pot like dish. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's from Dallas. I feel like I've heard that before. But also there's like coconut in German chocolate cake. It doesn't make sense that it would be. Did we both win German. or did we both lose? Do we have any other tiebreakers? All no. right. None? Well, well this was Maggie, fun. just ask us a question about food. What's your favorite food? Oh, I got it. Cheese I know it. <laughs> Nicole you, wins. Okay. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> All right, Bye, Nicole. Nicole. In <laughs> Robot <laughs> Maggie, right? <laughs> you know how to say it. Now time to find out what we're working in. Right now, that real man in Newman. This is the thing that we call. The thing is, I like cats and roses. Everyone got one and another I can do. Well, all right, Nicole. Let's listen to that first opinion out there. A lot of people out there got a lot of opinions. You know, and Hi, I wrote, guys. I wrote a little you song about it. You are my son's favorite podcast, and so he and I listen to your podcast when What's we're on hers? road trips together. <laughs> and I thought it would be so fun if he was listening to an episode and he heard me. So this is Laura from Maryland, and my food take is that ganache is better than hot fudge. So oh. instead of having that gross, corn syrupy, too sugary hot fudge on your ice cream, you just melt some dark chocolate with some heavy cream and you get it into a nice chocolate sauce and then you just plop it on your ice cream and it is way better. Thanks, guys. Bye. 
Laura, what did Laura they say? from Maryland and Son. This is a very good opinion. I don't. I didn't understand what the other thing was other than fudge. Effectively, why use hot fudge on ice cream when ganache is kind of just oh, like? Oh, she said ganache. Ganache. Oh, it's so much better. It's so much better. The world's better. Well, they're, they're okay. So hot fudge. I was trying to think like what the corn real syrup. differences are, but it's yeah, it's kind of she's, just corn syrup. Corn syrup's what gives hot fudge that runniness because corn syrup as it gets colder is going to get um, less sort of flowy and then it gets hotter but that's also just what the chocolate and the heavy cream do in ganache yeah the heavy cream allows it to flow and then the interesting thing with ganache is then you're getting like real chocolate flavor I had what did I have recently that had such an aggressive uh, chocolate extract flavor so if you eat like a Tootsie mm-hmm. Roll for instance that's chocolate extract that's yeah. chocolate extract and that's what I always associate that like you know kind of chemically hot fudge flavor with I also happen to love it, dude. Me too. Me too. I, I probably had like an eight-year gap in my life where I didn't have hot fudge on ice cream. Uh-huh. You would just melt down Tootsie Rolls? No, I just – it just never came up. Why <laughs> I just, didn't – why didn't – I ate a lot of ice cream. I just – you know, I never really got hot fudge. And then I had it for mm-hmm. the first time in a long time. And I was like, oh, that is that is a nice thing to have. Why doesn't Tootsie Roll invi- invent like a like a hot fudge? Why would they? Uh, Tootsie Roll has been, you know, operating – They I imagine make 99.7% of their profits during Halloween. And nobody actually eats them, but they do get consumed and thrown in the trash. When you were a kid and you had Halloween candy, did you always like segment eat? them? Yeah. But you'd eat all of it, and then the last things remaining would be I lollipops and Tootsie Rolls. You didn't eat all of your Halloween candy? What happened to it? Almond mom. Almond mom. Almond mom. mom. I How was many an times almond to- joy dad who said, give me all your almond joys, and then you can just binge eat the rest of your candy. That's nice. No, she would give me some, but mostly it would be like the nerds and like some Snickers and then like, but no fun dips. Fun dips were automatically out. Yeah. Um, raisins. She would let me eat the raisins. You know, houses that would give raisins and apples. She would that, give me that. That's an, another thing. As you get older, you start to really see the merit. And yeah. houses giving raisins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down with houses that give raisins. I know people might not agree with that. But regardless, ganache, better than hot fudge. I agree. 100%. Laura, you are great. And Laura's I'm sure your son, son is great. You got a great mom. And if she's making ganache, putting your ice cool cream. Cool moms. I'm, when I get older, I used to want to be the house that gave king-size candy bars. Now, check this out. I'm going to dry my own fruits. I'm oh, going to package them. No. I'm going to give them out. It's going to cause a no. whole hubbub Parents should not in do the that. HOA. No, no, no. Don't do that. They're going to get mad. They're going to go, this person's creepy as hell. You need to. You I'm need not to letting only my give, kid eat that. You need to only give pa- closed packaged candies to the kids. Nope. I'm going to dry. Yes. Check, check this out. Yes. Check this out. I'm going to dry my own raisins on the vine. You're not ready for parenthood. Dry my own raisins on ready. the vine. You're not ready for parenthood. And then I'm going to put them in cute little gift bags. And then Four candy bars at Nicole's house. Everybody come to Nicole's house. Gonna she go, needs candy Nicole's bars. house had full size Twix, Twix bars. Why don't, why don't you have them, mister? And I'm going to go. So these are actually. Because <laughs> we're going to live so close to each other. These are actually Catalonian sultanas that I've uh, rubbed Josh out with rosemary can... oil. And <laughs> are you going to live in the same neighborhood? Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds like fun. House is right next door to each other, actually. We're going to have a zip line in between them. <laughs> It's just me and David hanging out playing COD. (laughs) The kids could could zip line between our houses. That would actually be so Uh, fun. uh, Mine are probably going to be heftier than yours, though. No, mine will be. Have you seen David's baby pictures? Have you seen my baby pictures? Oh, David, David was a baby. Yeah, you guys got some. Yeah, we all got some heft to us. Nice Samoan looking. (laughs) (laughs) You should be so lucky. (laughs) Have a little football playing baby. Next opinion. That was gross. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to point something out when it comes to McDonald's, by the way. So yeah, I didn't come here for your the McFlurry sexiness. straw. Or it should have been a straw. What? That sure. spoon that they used to mix the McFlurry, weird. it should have been a straw. Weird, hmm. weird. Why aren't we talking about this? What do you I mean why we're not talking about it? My dog He's left because what are you he doesn't want to talk about this Hold anymore. On. So can we talk about this? Yes. Love the pot. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. I got it. I got it. No, no, no. What do you mean? The chunks don't go through the freaking straw. <sighs> there's no straw. The McFlurry spoon is not a straw. There's and that's an, fine. There's an opening that makes you look like you should wrap your mouth around it and suck. Yeah, but that's but you have to be smart enough to know that that's to go into the machine. What are you talking about? Well, he is. About? He is. No, he recognized that. He, he recognized that. So what's the problem? What I'm saying if it looked like a straw and it's sitting in something that kind of looked like a milkshake, I should be able to suck it. Okay, but you know that a McFlurry he has should be big able to old... suck it. McFlurries have those big little chunkies in there. They can't go through a straw. Well, yeah, but not. I think he would also maybe this maybe this was before this maybe before he the, would argue that the chunkies Boba. should be smaller. This is before Boba took over a nation, you know, it's with true. the big straws and the tapioca. We, this is before that. That's the thing. I first had Boba 2004, right? About 12 years old. I had it in Westwood. I had it in Westwood. What year? What year? I don't know, but it was we, at that boba place next to UCLA. You know the one, Boba Loca? 
But, yeah, Bubble Logan's been open that long? I think so. Oh, we had never seen straws that big. That was the main thing. The, 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 the cool. tapioca pearls and the drinks and the ceiling technology, that was all very new. But, but more than anything, big ass straws. Cool Never ass, seen anything like straws. that. What we had were the promise, or at least the temptation, of a McFlurry big ass straw. You know, but you're right. What they got a Rolo McFlurry? Like you're gonna suck half chunks of Rolos through that? No, no, you're just gonna get lodged in your throat. They were yeah. probably thinking about the lawsuits. They were thinking yeah. about the lawsuits. Yeah. What this man wants is called a milkshake. Go get a milkshake, but, baby. But 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 also I don't think... call me gross. I'm not that gross. I did eat like <laughs> four thousand calories worth of Taco Bell and Del Taco. Yeah. That was gross. But as a whole, I am not gross. I shower often. I smell. <laughs> I honestly smell so good right now. What am I wearing? Coco Mademoiselle? I'm wearing Coco Mademoiselle. I have fantastic deodorant on. Like, I'm not gross. I'm beautiful. <laughs> I will say McDonald's standard straw is the thickest straw and maybe the sturdiest. So I think it is the best for milkshakes. But I, I, I'm curious, and please write us back, if they think that <laughs> Boba <laughs> <laughs> they think the boba straws, and I'm curious about your thoughts, should be the standard milkshake straw. Have we gotten to a point where we think straws should be so thick and round and voluptuous that that should be in every milkshake? Listen, does McDonald's have milkshakes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, and then the milk McFlurry is something else. It's it's an it's an ice cream base mixed it's with their blizzard, a candy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? What's the big deal? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think what he wants is a milkshake. Okay. So get a milkshake yeah. and then I have agree. some cookies on the side and munch on the cookies. I don't well, know. Well, 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 I think he wants a milkshake and a thicker straw. Okay, well, then he needs to get a thicker straw. I know, but I... He should, but, okay. but, you know what he should do? Should he, he should have to buy his own, his own straw. Should he have to provide that? Yes, he That's should a, provide his own straw. I'll tell you what I do. So there's a yoga-themed frozen yogurt yoga restaurant. Yogurt? I love yoga urt. Oh, my God. I know yoga urt. Never been, but I know all about it. Driven past it for probably on 12 sunset. years. On well, there's sunset. one on uh, in, on uh, maybe Wilshire in in like what, Santa Monica area. Mm-hmm. I've driven past it for probably 12 years and almost thought, who would go to a yoga-themed vegan th- frozen yogurt shop? And then one day, Julie and I go, you know what? We've lived in LA long enough and not gone into yoga art. And we did. And it's just like lovely. It's quirky. It's weird. They got like books and board games. And I'm anyway, going to throw up. <laughs> I love their little, it's just like blended cashews and dates. You're like, yeah, whatever. This is good. And uh, the problem is though, they have the biodegradable wood spoons that make me feel physically I sick. I love wood spoons. Uh, it makes my tongue physically recoil in my mouth. The thought. Love wood spoons. I have textual sensitivity issues. So does my husband. He yeah. can't hold uh, certain paper bags. I have to hold them for him. Sorry, yeah. baby. I know you're watching right now. I love you so much. I think we're incredibly masculine. But... And it's okay that you have sensitivities. I believe in compromise and love. And part of that is holding bags for you. And you do other things for me. And so what I do is I, I actually will. And this is something I've done multiple times. Um, I will take a plastic spoon in there and just okay. bring in my own plastic spoon. That's fine. Dude. I can't that's do fine. the wood thing. It makes that's me That's fine. That's fine. So I'm saying bring this your man could straw. bring his own straws, you know? Just bring your own you know, straw. Why are you waiting, you know, for a handout? Hey, Josh and Nicole. This is Jacob from Florida. Yeah. Uh, you get it a lot, but I love the message. Um, Thanks, buddy. The other guy thought it was My gross. hot take, which honestly seems pretty common, people give me crap for putting ketchup on eggs. You know, oh. if I make an omelet, so maybe Let's some ketchup, or I'll just fry an egg, put it on some toast. With ketchup. Um, yeah. Josh, I feel like you might agree with me, but I'll have to wait and see. What about Nicole? Thanks. Love what the about, work. What do you think about Nicole? Nicole, what do you think about her? What do you think about No, well, yeah, I think you're just saying that because I historically kind of take the gross side. And people will say ketchup on eggs is gross. Ketchup on eggs is delicious. No one says not putting ketchup on eggs is gross. Putting ketchup on eggs is great. I agree. What I is your it. what is your favorite ketchup on egg application? Scrambled. Scrambled, right? Hard scramble. Hard. Hard scramble. Hard dad scramble. Hard dad scramble. Hard With Denny's the, ass dad ass scramble. A little bit brown. The quite I would even say quite brown. Bordering on like Thai omelet. <laughs> you know, give me the yeah. you know the Thai omelets like, that are like yeah, yeah, walk yeah. cooked in Bansaya. oil. What? No, that's that's Vietnamese, and that's like a. Uh, oh man, I'm so stupid. No, I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. I'm a stupid girl. I mixed up Vietnamese food and Thai food. Stupid. Did you say I'm smart for a girl? No, I said you're such a smart. Girl. No, I said you're such a smart. Stupid, girl. stupid, stupid. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, let's take that back. I like scrambled eggs and ketchup. Oh my god, it's the best, isn't it? Right, especially yeah. like a Thai omelet. <laughs> yeah. What are they called? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, so I should look it up. Um, no, I, I think ketchup is less good with a fried egg. The runny yolk. I don't like when I they mix into a sauce. it's so good. I don't like when they mix into a sauce. I love it. I actually really like it. Really? Also with hot sauce. So hot sauce, runny yolk, ketchup, bada bing, bada boom, toast, dip, dip, yum. I'll go three to one ketchup to sriracha. Hmm. You eat sriracha in the mornings? I really do, yeah. I hate sriracha in the mornings. Well, that's where you and I differ. I like, you know what I like? I uh, like Tabasco in the mornings. I, I like Cholula. Too. I like Tapatio. I'd be willing to even do a secret aardvark. No <laughs> 
So I'll mix that together. And then sometimes when I'm really hard up for food, I'll scramble five eggs hard, real hard. And then I'll let it sit in a plate, let it cool a little bit, you know, go pee, probably wash my hands, um, come back so it's cool enough. And I just paw at it. You don't need to wash your hands after you pee. I feel like. Uh, you know what? I made that claim and then I did I did the research. Uh, you should. I did the work. I'm talking about men. Yeah. No, no. I, I did the re- You like really should. Even if you're not touching your pee No, the problem is you're sitting, you're in a bathroom touching stuff where there's just oh. poo, part- poo particles everywhere. Oh. And oh, there oh, yeah. really are so many poo particles everywhere. Okay. You should really wash your hands. Not that I, I never like was, you know, I'm just not going to wash my hands, but it really reified the need to. So the point is that yeah, you're cool enough to, one, sorry, to yeah. touch with the poo hands, <laughs> you know, and then I just swipe those in. It's almost like dipping uh, a, a unlimited hot. chips into unlimited salsa. I'm so I just hot. scoop the ketchup on the eggs and I slurp it off. So yeah, I fully agree. Ketchup on eggs. Um, people are too precious about like basic ass foods. If you want to get like real precious about like a cultural institution, you know what I mean? Like cassoulet should only be made with the finest de puy lent- yeah, whatever. Sure. It's it's scrambled eggs, dude. Put whatever the hell you want on it. Right. Whatever's going to make your day a little bit better. Do you feel like you're going into, like, acute organ feeling? <laughs> oh, it's obtuse. <laughs> obtuse <laughs> organ failure. Acute would be, like, one. You know, like, boom. Like, pointed. Obtuse I organ failure is, like, sick. it's all shutting down. I feel down. really sick. But on that <laughs> note, thank you for listening to A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. We got new episodes all the time. Not going to tell you when. You just need to find out for yourself. Yeah, keep clicking refresh on the YouTube page <laughs> until a new episode comes up. No, I'll tell you when. It's Wednesday, the audio version, of course. And then Sunday is when the video version comes out. Yeah. Nicole, what video platforms are we on? Um, YouTube only. Statistically, are they watching this on YouTube? or? Oh, also, like you can check us out on... We have a TikTok we have TikTok, yeah. Check us out on Reels. We're on Reels. Check us. Or do we still have an agreement with Snapchat, or is that dead? We're still publishing oh, Snapchat, we're still, okay. but it's yeah, not not as uh, high a clip. CPM okay. started dropping a little bit. They, um, they shifted their focus, I think, to spotlight um, more individual creators. Are we not um, individual creators? No, I and mean, we're not sure like individual creators on TikTok either. But we're still on Snapchat. Last meal is on Snapchat. Okay, cool. Yeah, we still um, if going. you want to leave us a message and call us gross or gorgeous. Call us at 833-DOGPOD1. And for more Mythical Kitchen, check out all of our other videos. They're all really, really good. Check us out on YouTube. I've really only been on Snapchat. Yeah, I, I sent one picture on Snapchat. I stopped using Snapchat a long one time picture, ago. And then I stopped. But then there was like a summer. What kind of picture? Yeah, it, of course. And then uh, there was <laughs> I'm one. I'm sorry? Huh? What yeah, kind of picture? Sure, definitely. And then there was one summer when I would get recognized and people would just be like, hey, you're the Snapchat show. Oh, and you think it's because it's that one picture from no. Oh. No, because we were publishing a lot more on Snapchat, and, and the views were a lot higher. You weren't cooking no. at 2013. No. No. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.